Let's make this tool for taking heavy cuts on my old lathe. Hi brothers, I will use this 18mm square bar from a very old scrapped window. I cleaned it outside, it had probably 5 coats of paint. I will cut at this length using the holes on my tool posts as a measurement. This is so I can have a bit of adjustability and leave space for the other tool behind it. This is a 14 mm square piece. It will be the support for the carbide. I will weld it at this angle to do less grinding on the top. I bought it for this use and it's already dry. I am scribing the lines for the placements of the tool and the small steel piece. I put chamfer on both to have a better weld penetration. Tuck welding allows me to change the angle a bit. I am cleaning the surface to prepare it for brazing. I will use this cheap threading insert. I just removed the tip to make it a bit shorter. I could make this smaller. To braze here, I will use this bronze rod. And the flux is a must, you can't braze without it. I have only this short rod, so let's make it longer. This is green silicone wheel to grind carbide. I am cleaning the carbide bit with it. I am using butane gas with a compressed air to brace here and I have a video on how I converted simple gas torch to work with the compressor and the propane burns hotter than the butane if you have it use it The heat is hot. I need better gloves.
Now I am grinding the angles on the steel first using a normal grinding wheel. If you don't have a tool to throw up your wheel, you can use an angle grinder, a diamond disc. I am using washing machine motor for grinding until I make a better grinder. The grinds are the same here as for high speed steel tool. The only difference is grinding wheels. I am using a green silicone one here. As you see now, for the top of the tool, 10 second cleanup is enough because we had our angles when we welded the small steel piece. And the small nose radius, and we are done. This is hard noble steel. I used it to make this live center. One millimeter cut at 400 RPMs. I made a big mistake and I stopped the lid mid cut while power feeding and the tool survived. Let's turn this 28mm diameter steel to accept a 20mm ball bearing. I am removing 5mm with no problem. And now 3mm. And remember that you can face with it and cut a chamfer too. It has a nice surface finish for this speed. This is a light press fit. Thanks for watching.